A shock absorber is like the car it's attached to. Once it runs out of oil and also the gas inside, it stops functioning properly. Except this isn't going to cause the car to stop. The car will keep on rolling with a bad shock absorber. A shock is filled with oil. That oil inside helps to dampen the movement of the suspension and control the energy of the spring. If that oil is not there, well, it can't control either. That oil leaks out around the seal and the shaft. And when all the oil is gone, well, effectively the shock absorber is dead. Most shock absorbers, well, they have gas inside. This can be behind a piston or in little packets that help to pressurize the shock absorber. Why is it pressurized? Well, think of a can of beer. When you crack that tab on a can of beer, the bubbles come out. Well, with a shock absorber oil, if you keep it under pressure, those bubbles stay inside. This way, the oil inside does not foam and cause fading of the shock absorber. The other thing that can wear it on a shock absorber, well, it's the bushings at the end. And also with a strut, the strut mounts and also the isolators of the spring, they'll wear out over time because they're made of a soft material like rubber and over time, they can be damaged by the environment. When that happens, well, it's like having no shock absorber or strut at all for close to a quarter of an inch, depending on how badly the bushing is worn. When you install a new shock or strut, essentially you're replacing the oil and the gas for the suspension. Also, you're improving the internals of the shock absorber. The piston can wear out over time, and also the valving can become damaged by certain suspension movements and bottoming out. The customer, well, chances are they've not noticed their suspension degrading. And when you replace the new riot control, they're going to notice a big, big difference. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much.